Vice President Kamala Harris on Friday cast former President Donald Trump as an angry man who has exhausted Americans with his focus on division in a speech at an International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Labor Union Hall in Janesville, Wisconsin. After arguing, as she often does, that it is time to turn the page on a decade of Donald Trump, Harris put a finer point on the way she believes people feel about Trump's time in the national spotlight, folks are exhausted with this stuff. The man, Harris said, referring to Trump, is angry. She also said Trump was one of the biggest losers of manufacturing jobs in America's history, hanging on the word loser. Harris, who was flanked by IBEW workers, said Trump is all talk, no walk on unions, calling him no friend to labor and a union buster his entire career. He's got a lot of talk, but if you pay attention to what he's actually done, you'll see who he really is," she said, calling Trump an existential threat to America's labor movement. Union workers are important in a series of key swing states. While Democrats have long enjoyed the support of union leadership, Trump has improved Republican standing with rank-and-file union workers in both 2016 and 2020. Harris has closed her campaign by arguing that the former president is more focused on the people he believes have wronged him than the American people. And everything that we have fought for is on the line in this election. In less than 90 days, it's either going to be Donald Trump or me sitting in the Oval Office. But here's the thing that we want to help me. I appreciate you, brother. If you're trying to kind of figure out what the stakes are, just imagine the Oval Office, we've all seen it on TV, and just imagine on January 20th. Because if he is elected, if Donald Trump is elected, he's going to be sitting in that Oval Office stewing over his enemies list. Because he spends full time planting, plotting revenge and retribution. Full time. The man is angry. Right? It, it, <laughs> But you know what I'm talking about. So imagine on January 20th, it's either that, him plotting over his enemies list, or me working for you on my to-do list. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Because I like hard work. And remember, he said he was the only one, you know how he talks, he said he, he was the only one who could bring back America's manufacturing jobs. And then, America lost nearly 200,000 manufacturing jobs when he was president, including thousands of jobs right here in Wisconsin. And, and, and facts be clear, those losses started before the pandemic, okay? making Donald Trump one of the biggest losers of manufacturing jobs in America's history. We here know Donald Trump is no friend to labor. No friend to labor. He has been a union buster his entire career. He has called union leaders, quote, dues sucking people. He said that he supports the so-called right to work laws 100%. He joked with a billionaire buddy of his about the mass firing of striking workers. And while he was president, he lowered labor standards and made it easier for companies to break labor laws and then get federal contracts. Right? And so part of why I'm here is to ask all the leaders here, let's remind 
all the brothers and sisters of labor about who Donald Trump really is. Because he's got a lot of talk. But if you pay attention to what he's actually done, if you pay attention to who he has actually stood with when people needed a defender and a friend, you'll see who he really is. And we got to get the word out about this. Because there's a whole lot of misinformation about what he is and who he stands with. And we know he does not stand with organized labor. So here's the bottom line. Donald Trump's track record is a disaster for working people, and he is an existential threat to America's labor movement. God bless you, and God bless you.